Hello there guys, it is Quirty Afro here, bringing you another OMC2 video. Long time no see for this game. Every time I seem to do a video on my channel of OMC2, it literally just goes on like a really, really long hiatus and never comes back, and then it comes back, and then it goes on another hiatus. It's really crazy. I definitely want to keep this game as a like an up, uh, like a regular kind of thing on my channel and like re really regular, like Train Sim, because there's quite a lot of stuff I can do with this game. Anyway, today I am here with a map that I've been wanting to do loads of videos on, and hopefully this is the start of more and many videos to come off this map. It is Baldaman version 4, uh, a very, very popular uh, British fictional map that you can get on OMC2. All the kind of links and stuff, I think I'm going to, I'm gonna, I will link you to the, the actual uh, forum page of the map where you can then get further instructions on how to download it, as well as I might actually... Uh, they link you all the stuff with buses and stuff within the actual files and documents of the actual uh, map itself. So I'm not going to do anything like, oh, here's the bus as well. I'm just going to give you the link to the actual forum page where you can read up all yourself and actually see uh, what like what you want to download. Because there's quite a lot of options that you can do with this map. You don't have to download everything, but you, you can if you want to. And then it, it's it's like, but obviously you can customize those kind of maps and stuff like with AI lists and stuff like that. So... Uh, I'll leave the link down below to, to where you can get this map and there, there's the best place to look at instructions. In the future I might do some tutorial videos of how to download certain maps like this map, but that's somewhere in the future, probably when I finish my exams or like I don't know when, why, when I have a lot of time, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Shouts for this uh, video go to Ollie Smith and Louis Bolton. That's again Ollie Smith and Louis Bolton. Their links and stuff will be down below. And those were the shouts. So today we're on Baldaman, uh version 4, as I've already said. We are going to be undertaking uh, Route 30, which is... Uh, I've actually done this on a live stream. I've actually been live streaming quite a lot of OMC2, uh, which seems to be very popular with, with you guys on the stream. So I... Uh, I do, I do quite a lot of it, and I've actually covered quite a bit of this map. Not all the routes, but I've covered quite a bit of uh, quite a number of routes on this actual map on my live streams. I've actually done this one on my live stream, but I did it in another bus. I did it in a Mercedes Vario mini bus, which was very, very, very loud. And I'm actually today doing it in the correct bus of this event. If you didn't actually already know, this uh, map is actually really, really detailed, and it comes with. Uh, Pe uh, time period events or eras or whatever where you can play through different like times where different lines were managed by different companies so this line right now is uh this line 30s uh you know managed by Arriva Arriva buses but previously it was actually I think uh owned and managed by Stagecoach so you can have actually different skins for this bus or even the previous older buses because I think the eras and the events and stuff start from the 80s and come up all the way to current 2015 and you get actually a variety of bosses that you can play in a variety of skins. This one I'm playing right now is Event O. It goes from like the alphabets A, B, C, D, A, F, G to all the way to O, which is now 2015 present or 2014 and, and then present or whatever. And there's quite a lot of mixture of different kind of bus, uh, bus companies and bus skins as well. So it's definitely a, a very good route I would recommend. It is a bit of faff to install, but once you get it running, it's really good. So. Line 30, we're doing it in the Mercedes Cito, one of the smallest buses, obviously not the smallest, like the the Vario Mini bus is one of the smallest, but this is like as small as it gets with this type of bus anyway. So let's get inside, let's set up. Okay, before actually I do set up, I have to actually uh, book ourselves a little bit of a timetable, which you guys won't be able to see on the stream, uh, on the, what am I saying stream, on the video because uh, my recording software doesn't pick up uh, doesn't pick up uh, these like extra layered windows and stuff where you can set up the time and this and stuff like that. So apologize if you can't see it, but what I'm right now doing is I've selected the line 30. I've found a tour and a trip that is working out for me right now. The time in game is five past nine in the morning. I have a start uh, a start time for this line at nine twenty seven, so almost half past. Uh, starting here, we're going to be going from. I've even forgot to tell you what the route is. Line thirty it goes from Apsley Town Hall, uh, Town Hall Stand, which is just up ahead, 
and it goes to Wooten Asda. So we're going to be going to do a little journey to the uh, local uh, Asda in this map, which is great. So uh, we'll hopefully see a nice big uh, conventional Asda at the end of this uh, route. So if you want to see Asda, then stick around to the end of the video. So I've got uh, I've got that as uh, my timetable. So 9:27 from Apsley, uh, which is good. We'll get to the. Actually, we might. I might actually. Uh, we can forward it to about. Let's forward it to 9:20 right now. It's seven past, so I'm just going to forward it a bit to get to the near to the time where I'm actually supposed to depart instead of just us waiting here. Anyway, let's set up the bus. You guys were like, "Why are you talking so much? Set up the bus. Drive the damn thing." I know, I like to talk, and you know, that that's me. If you don't like me, then uh, this isn't a channel, channel for you. So, electronics on. Uh, let's uh, first of all have a look here, what we actually have to set up. I do believe, ooh, not that close. Line we are doing is 30, which we input as 3,000. And the root is 01. Uh, there's either 01 or 02 on this one. And that should obviously give us then to Woot and Asda, which is really good. And I do believe this route actually has uh, announcements, so we'll have some announcements playing as well while we're going from stop to stop, which is really cool. I do like routes that have uh, that have like announcements and stuff like that. I think that's just really really good. So let's quickly check outside if everything is good. That looks good. Line thirty, Woot and Asda, looking very smart in our Mercedes C2. And uh, before we go, I'd like to set up a few more things. There's like one button here which I really do like using in OMSI on Mercedes buses. This button here that I'm going to press like there. Uh, it allows the doors, the passenger doors, that when people press the stop uh, button or stop buzzer to get off. When you have this button pressed, every time you get to a station and you put the station brake in, the passenger doors open. And if you're like in a longer uh, bendy bus, like one of the three or four double leaf uh, Mercedes bendy buses or articulate buses or whatever you call them uh, it will automatically open up all the doors that people have actually pressed the stop buzzer uh, stop button to get off so it will just automatically open doors you don't have to worry you or you as a or you as a pass uh, as a bus driver have to worry about is just opening the main door here to allow people to come in and you serve them with tickets or whatever but that's also just a really nice button I like on Mercedes buses I don't think every other kind of bus in the game has it but Mercedes know what they're doing and you know I like Mercedes buses so uh, let's uh, get going I think everything is good uh, we, we can turn on the lights I guess to make it look a little bit more fancier and it is the kind of sort of early-ish morning so I'll just keep them on just you know illuminate the place up so let's get the uh, engine on Oof. Yeah, that's not too bad of an engine I guess it's, it's a small vehicle so I, I don't blame it let's get into drive uh, let's disengage the parking brake and uh, let's, uh, let's head off is anything coming behind me no it is and let's go Right, Apsi Town Hall, our first station. And I've put on the ticket selling mode. Uh, it isn't uh, on the hardest one. What? Excuse me? It, what? What voice was that? What the hell? Okay. I'm, I'm just going to completely forget I heard that. Uh... What was I supposed to do? Shift T, uh, T, and uh, there's your change. That that really that really freaked me out. It, this map also comes with cool vo vo uh, English voices and uh, you, like that, like a freaky middle-aged kid with voice of a middle-aged man. Can, and there you can see like uh, she's really annoyed and she's gonna give me the give me the boot. There you go. There's your ticket. There's your ticket. I'm just explaining to my lovely YouTubers. Thank you, driver. You're welcome. And there you go. So it's I've put on the easy mode, which means I press Shift T to collect the ticket, T to give the ticket, and Control T to give change, which is really just all I really want to do. Some people want to go to do the advanced ticket selling, which you have to then input stuff onto this uh, onto this uh, ticket machine. Which, if you want to do that, then do that. But I think that just takes a little too long if you have a lot of people that need to get on. 
So let's uh, let's get ready to go to our next station, which, if we now see with the announcements, is absolute bus station. There we go. It's not as nice as uh, I remember with uh, Winsenberg, my previous OMSI uh, video. The uh, the uh, the announcements are really really nice in that one, but this is this is all right. Any kind of route that has announcements is good in my books. Right. Hey guys. Morning. Top of the morning to you, love. Good day, driver. Can I return, please. Sure you can, mate. There you go. Uh, thank you. There you go. And no one else. And off we go. Charlemont Road. I'm gonna have to do that those station announcements pretty quick after because I literally always tend to forget. Oh one thing I actually forgot to put on is actually the directions because I have no idea where I'm going. Nicely does it. And if I didn't do the shout outs, which I think I did, but I'm, I've kind of I have little bits of short term memory losses from time to time, but if I didn't do the shout outs, or if I did, then I'm going to sound stupid if I'm now repeating them, but I think I didn't do them, but I probably did. Or maybe I didn't do them. I'm not too sure. Things just fly by when I'm doing a commentary. Anyway, no one's at this station, so we can just continue. Uh, the shouts were Ollie Smith and Lewis, uh, Louis Bolton. And the links and stuff will be down below, and those were the shouts. If I haven't already said them, which I probably have. Alright. Nicely does it. This group's really interesting. It's, it has a lot of tight turns and stuff, and loads of these kind of like on the road kind of stations, which is kind of nice. Hello. Hey there. Yeah, well, that that's now a that's a that's a child voice, and that boy that came on at the first stop that really left a, that kind of scarred me there. Right, let's head off. Oh, ah, I look right now already. I forgot to do the announcement, so Gladstone Road. that's Gladstone Road, and then the next station which we're coming up to is Road. Ravenscroft Road. Nice. And we have another fellow passenger to pick up here. Hello there. No ticket, I guess. Berlin Avenue. With me right now, I am just fully in exam period mode where I'm just revising for the five exams I have, which I, ooh, and I think I just swiped into that car, but thank you to the power of turning off AI collisions, it doesn't matter. But yeah, right now I am fully in exam mode. I am just revising the hell out of things. I only have five exams, which to be honest is quite a bit, but I think I'll do well. If I put the work in it, I'll get the grade I deserve. Villa allotments. And then after that, it's not like the work stops. Uh, <laughs> I then have to go back, as I said, I think in the previous video, I have to go back up to Scotland, which is going to be a... Uh, does anyone here need to come on or off? I don't believe. No, we can continue. I have to go back up to Scotland and it's even further north. It's going to probably be colder or I don't know. It's it's going to be summer, so maybe it might not be colder. St. Catherine's Hospital, main entrance. Oh, snap. Okay. Did I over skip a station? I probably did. I'm not too sure. Right. We can go after this car that's passed. But yeah, I have to go back up to Scotland, and that's going to be interesting itself.
Wait, this this can't be right. Saint Mary's Saint Catherine's Hospital entrance. Why am I getting Berlin Avenue and stuff again? Or maybe this is like a park and ride section? I'm not too sure. I'll only change it once I get to the actual hospital. Oh, you want a ticket? Okay, cool. There you go. And I'll take that ticket as well because I just gave two tickets out for some reason. <laughs> right. I do. We do definitely go past the hospital, so it's not like that's wrong. I might have just overskipped it a bit, I think. I'm not too sure. Yeah, this is all Berlin Avenue. Yeah, Berlin Avenue 6. So yeah, this is probably all one stretch. Really interesting stop here. <laughs> Buff on the board. No ticket. Good. Less work for me. <laughs> Alright. Right, anything coming from there doesn't look like anything coming from here. Uh, nothing. Good, we're clear to go. Ah, so here, look, this is Villa Notments. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> they definitely uh, these people. These people know how to complain. That's all I can say. Uh, thank you. They definitely, the British public on uh, in Omsi definitely know how to complain. They, 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 they know what they know what's what's their money's worth when they come onto this bus or or just my bus basically. They know like when they stop on they they know they want the service. Well, I think like the German speaking uh, passengers in Omsi they're just like they're fine, and then when you do something really bad, they're like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Right, so we're turning here left into St. Catherine's Hospital. Obviously, this makes much more sense now. So that whole kind of stretch of that avenue, I should have just left it on one of these. Uh... Oh, wow. Look at that. It's all filled up in here. Yeah, you can even see. Oh, look at that. So it, cha it changes. Yeah, St. Catherine's Hospital and uh, main entrance. That's really nice. But look how packed it is in this, in this bus. Like, it is a small bus, after all. It's not big. I don't even know what the capacity is. It's probably something like oof, uh, probably about 15 seated, 15, 20 seated and maybe 30, 40 standing I would say at max. It probably might be even less. It looks terribly uncomfortable in there if it gets like to like really like rush hour kind of standards. But we're good. As you can see I have my registration as QA because you know I'm QA Afro. I rule the, all the buses in all the lands. Let's continue down here. Hopefully it doesn't go red because I, oh no, I'm going to miss it, I'm going to miss it. We're fine. I don't want to be waiting at that red light. It was too, too long. Alright, let's hopefully ooh, clip the curb a little bit there. It's a, it's a bit of a squeeze. Right, and we're finally at uh, some Catherine's. Oh, hello. <laughs> the bus just pulled out there. I think I'm going to have to wait for this number 10 bus to... Uh, skedaddle and move out my space with buses every 10 minutes for only 10 pounds a week that's a weight off your mind <laughs> sure it is right all is good anyone coming on it seems like not no one wants to go to asda from the hospital but why would you when you get out of the hospital it's like oh yeah i'm gonna go to asda now it's like no you go home <laughs> right St. Catherine's Hospital. Accident and emergency. Oh, so they even have an A&E in this map, which is really good. Most of the A's, most of the A and E's in real life oh are getting. God. Okay, what? calm down. Anyway, most of the A and E's in the country right now are getting closed anyway. So you know, <laughs> at least uh, Baldenham has one that's uh, raring to go and uh, be there to serve the public when it needs it. While the, uh, the the Tories are probably gonna, what's it? The Tories are gonna now because they've won. Now they're gonna privatize the NHS even more. I think it was something like they want to 
allow 750 million pounds of private investment or something like that, so, you know. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. I wonder if I could have uh, the ticket uh, where you, I can um, make uh, this journey, but also later on in the day, I can also make other journeys. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A different journey later on yeah, the cool. I think maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, stop I talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can have a return, mate. Single. Uh, yeah, you do look single. Uh, there you go. Thank you very much, and uh, let's get going. Royal Lane. I'm going to presume that there's no traffic on my left, and just keep going for it. But I remember when I did this on stream and I actually drove it in the minibus, I was literally terrified for my life. It was, it was a, it's like the proper like little Mercedes minibuses and it just didn't feel like a solid vehicle. It made too much noise, like I mean too much noise. What's wrong guys? I took that corner at a moderate 40 miles an hour. What's wrong with 40 miles an hour taking a corner? Like, come on. Oh, can't see the... And I like that you can actually do the ticket selling from here. So right now I can collect the ticket and give her the ticket. And, oh, she doesn't want that. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I could do it from the outside view while with the uh, the advanced ticket, uh, you can't do that. So oh, that's, that's another bonus I like using the easy ticket selling kind of method. Right. Ooh, 50 miles an hour, which I'm doing right now, but you know me, I'm gonna give it a little bit more welly. Alright, Wooton is to the... Okay, guys, calm down. Okay, you're fine. Ooh, ooh, sorry. That was a bit fanatic. Oh, and I hate these giveaway plays. It, it, right now, it, this kind of game needs track IR. Like, I would so would love some track IR in this where I could just move my head and go, hey, look, there's nothing. I can drive forward and everything will be okay. Alright. Oh, I don't have to stop here because no one is getting off. Excellent. Ooh, route number one passing us there, and that I do believe was a stagecoach bus. We're going straight on here. Bit of dual carriageway, speedy Gonzalez action here now. I shouldn't be going this far. Oh, hello. Oh, there's no one there. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> and this is where the frame rate is absolutely beautiful because there's no buildings whatsoever. But it is a nice route. It's like, you know, it's from goes from Apsley and then it goes through the nice country and it takes you to the nice huge As Asda. What more could you want? I know quite a lot of uh, Asda routes in London that are not this beautiful. Right, now we're getting off at Honsey House. That's just good for me. Don't have to bother to stop. Oh, hello. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, about that. That was... Uh that I think that arrow had me even when I played this at the like the first time. It was it, it's such a hidden arrow that it it it, it it's so not forgiving. Like, I always thought that go you go straight, but it's you have to turn right there. And I'm surprised none of my passengers were like, "What the hell are you doing, mate?" All right, we're in Bowdoin. Have to keep a boring 30 miles an hour, but you know we'll abide by the rule. 
Right, hop which away. Right, hello guys. Yes, you could have said that in a much nicer way, not in a scary, the ring way. If anyone got that right, actually no. But what am I saying? The ring, the girl in the TV in the ring doesn't even talk. Right, straight we go. Bedfordshire way. Bedfordshire way. And the pronunciation. Oh, and we even have some speed humps, which is always so comforting. Ooh, there's the other line fair. You let him come in. Don't want to snug each other. Right, that's a dead end, so no one's going to be coming through there. Oh my Jesus god, God's... I know what the hell's going on with your driving. I just pressed the brake. Calm down, guys. Wait, did I pass the station there? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I always think on some of those sharp corners, I sometimes can't see the station coming up, so I was just just being sure that, 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 that there was no station there. And turning left into here. I'll be a bit more gentler this time, guys. Ten out of ten. Norfolk Drive. Lovely. It's a nice little bus, I have to say. It's just, you know, it's cute little, it's innocent. Norfolk Drive. Essex Avenue. Essex Avenue. Okay. Ooh. Where the hell did you live? Well, I'm sorry, I can't see these arrows. They're so sharp and sudden. It's ridiculous. Right. That's alright. No one at Essex Drive? We shall soldier on. Yorkshire way. Dear, you you oh, guys, guys, come on, simmer down. Ooh, that was a bit bad, I'm not going to lie. I love the dynamics of these speed humps, they actually like work as actual speed humps. It's I don't know why I changed that. I pressed that by accident. Because we're still at Yorkshire Way. <laughs> My little slippy finger slipped on the on the button. Why can't I see that door on my screen open? That's a bit weird. Anyway, let's continue. To now, Baldenham Esso, which is a petrol station, I'm guessing. Yeah, Esso is a petrol station. Actually, it's not a bad petrol station. I go there and I can get club card points, which is just always, you know, nice when you're spending a lot on petrol. <laughs> actually, I lie. I don't actually spend too much on petrol. Like the petrol prices have actually come down, which is really, really good. And as I have a really small engine car like a one liter car it really doesn't do too much on 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 my fuel economy which is really good and that's why I like I like having a smaller engine car sure it's a bit annoying it's not as like you know fast or you know as gri uh, grippy as a a bit more powerful car but fuel economy is just really good when a with a small one liter or even 1.2 is good yep there we go there's the SO collect your club card points Hello there. Hello. May I have a single, please? You surely can. Loving the uh, the the red matching flow you're getting going here. Got going here. <laughs> I 
but definitely with the uh, I, well not recent but the like near recent uh, OMC2 OMC2 patch it's definitely fixed the majority of stuff and I definitely feel that the game is much more stable now sure it's not perfect but it definitely feels much more better to play I even know what speed I should be going here right now I feel I'm going a little too fast but you know it's, it's quite the effort at the wheel Sorry. <laughs> I do apologize for that. That was really, really bad. Oh, snap. That was really, literally, that, that again, stopped literally around the, like, anything that's round a corner that sharp is always going to be a problem for me because you know me, I love to take my corners really, really fast. It's just second nature to me now. Like it's like I'm a bit like Jeremy Clarkson. I see a corner. It's not about slowing down. It's more more power, more speed. You get around that corner quicker. Ingold Stunthorp. <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister that. Ingoldisthorp. <laughs> Is that actually a place? I don't think it's a place. Are you serious? You're not coming aboard? Well. Damn you. Okay, that was a bit weird. The door just didn't want to close properly. Odd. Near a nice little pond. In Goldisthorpe Church. In Goldisthorpe. Interesting name. <laughs> Very, very interesting. Let's have a look from the inside if we can get something here. There we go. There's not really, really not a lot of space to even be so lucky I'm just like in people's heads it's it's crazy <laughs> right have a look a little bit up there and nice driving from the inside is a bit of challenge especially at these kind of tight angles so I'm not even going to try Albert Road. But as I was talking about with the uh, actual, actually me going up to Scotland again, this time at least it's not going to be a uh, full-on class trip. It's going to be an independent trip where I'm actually going with two pe uh, two other people, and we've actually f have to like find accommodation and stuff all up by ourselves, which is a challenge in itself. And we actually have to, you know, put money up, put our own money towards like funding our accommodation and food and everything and we only get reimbursed the following year which is just I think that's like really stupid imagine it's like yeah you have to pay for everything but we'll pay you back in a year's time like that's like useless like <laughs> how can someone just go oh yeah uh, give me a hundred pounds I'll pay you back in a year it's, no it's just it feels kind of wrong it's like you use your own money and then you only get it back a year's time. A year's time, loads of things can happen where you might need money, more money than you need. Wait, what did I say? More money than you need. You might need more money than you think. Hildeen House. No one in Hildeen House. Right. I do believe there is nothing coming that way. And nothing coming this way. Winterbourne House. But I'm looking forward to it though. 
we found a nice little uh, cottage and trust me accommodation up that north is literally like finding a needle in a haystack and I'm really surprised that we managed to even find something and it's relatively close to where we actually want to go and map which is like really good because I, uh, there's another group that's actually mapping where we are but uh, uh, but they are staying at another place which is actually about 15 miles away from where we actually have to map which is why we got a really good deal on a place that's literally right next to where we actually have to map which is just superb no green. and it'll be the furthest north I've ever been in my life and winter will be coming even in the summer And as I said in my previous video, I'm really not looking forward to the drive. The drive is going to be something of like excruciating mental pain and a bit of physical pain. You guys do not understand your accelerator. Serious, okay, That's calm down. Driver. Calm down, sir. It's my bus. I do what I want. Anyway, uh, so yeah, if, if, if you, anyone that actually drives or has driven for a, quite a long time, uh, your accelerator leg, unless you have cruise control, then you're just a lucky bastard. Uh, your accelerator leg gets demolished. Like you, you don't, you don't know the end of it. It gets demolished. Single because you're always having to keep your, you're always having to keep your uh, foot like on a steady <laughs> thing, keeping the speed because it's better for fuel economy. Uh, it's and it's better to just maintain the speed because if you just let go then your car will naturally slow down or if you keep pressing it too much your car will just speed up to like maximum revs or whatever especially like in a uh, in a small car like mine you can't really keep it all the way down because it will just over rev and that's really bad for, for a small engine car as the superstore this bus terminates here oh we're already at the last stop but yeah I so I'm I need to do some real preparation uh, for uh, for for that drive because the drive to Aaron took about seven hours I'm guessing this one will take 15 hours maybe even more uh, what if our one of our lecturers told us that a few years ago some people tried to get up there and it took them about a week because they kept breaking down which I thought was just hilarious but I don't want to jinx it because it could happen to, to to us and I really don't want to be broken down in the middle of nowhere in Scotland. <laughs> anyway, we are kind of, oh, the end mine is up that way, which we there are some routes that actually go on it, uh, some coach routes on this uh, on this map. But we are coming up to Asda now. I'll stop. An annoying Range Rover. If it will be any slower, oh my god. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, Return of Obsy 2 again and on Balderman. If you guys would like to suggest any other maps and also suggest me any other lines on this map that you guys want me to to do, because I'd like to cover most of them, because they're all pretty good. Some are relatively small, but some are a nice lab like this one. Alright. Let's see there, follow the number one route. And we are here. He's picking up passengers, and I am dropping off passengers. Right, timetable says I am too early and rest okay. So I would say that's pretty good. Too early is can be bad, but I see it as alright. Probably even better, to be honest, but yeah. A good all around journey and uh, we are here at the uh, the Asda the uh, gloriously huge Asda as every single I don't think there's any kind of like thing of like a small Asda I think every Asda is literally humongous and just this kind of size and 
kind of proportion. You have like a nice KFC on the other side. BP, very old kind of BP logo there. And uh, yeah, car park over there. You have the bus stop here for return journeys of and also other routes. I don't know what other routes as well stop here. I'm not too sure. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely have. I definitely want to carry on and do more in the future with this map and other maps like probably like Wissenberg I definitely want to do some more stuff on that there's also other stuff I want to try and get to work I want to get Hertfordshire hopefully to work because I had some problems with that as well as I think there was a man manly act which was like an Australian map which looked really good but I couldn't get that one to work either so I'll try and get those and if any of you guys have any other suggestions as well best place as well is to hit hit me up on the forums www.quayafro.co.uk slash forums and there's a request section where you can actually like you know submit a thread and like show me all the kind of things to like do with downloading a map or whatever or what websites are good to get this kind of bus or stuff or something from so that's the kind of best place you can also leave it in the comments but using the forums is a really good tool for me to actually look and at individual things that people submit to me instead of just random little comments with like links to that and links to this and it'd be good to just get your opinions and stuff on the forums rather than just in comments but you can comment to me anyway as well and comment me comment to me your kind of thoughts and stuff about this map and even this route or uh, in general what i was talking about in the video is you know sometimes you just go completely off topic but you know that's that's uh that's uh that's my channel Shoutouts again go to Ollie Smith and Louis Lewis or Louis Bolton. That's again Ollie Smith and Louis Bolton. Their links will be down below. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely want to do more and other stuff. Uh, obviously, I have exams right now, so it won't be as like you know frequent of videos. I'll try my best, and I'll probably do videos in my spare time once I finish revising and stuff like that. So it'll be my little bit of like a reward time to do videos and stuff like that. But after exams still a bit loopy because obviously I'm going to Scotland and then when I come back I don't know what's happening so it'll be a little bit hectic because it's not like the normal kind of summers I'm used to so it's all different for me but I'll definitely get, keep you guys in the loop and keep content hopefully available to you guys anyway I hope you guys have a lovely day I will see you in the next video bye bye guys we ain't